So I saw an interesting discussion in uh, Excel Gurus, which is a group in LinkedIn. We have a list of names, and we want to find the second uppercase letter to be able to split the full name. So if we look at this uh, list of sample names, there is no space to be able to split first name and last name. The only way to split it would be to find the W, or here the C, or here the S, the capital, second capital letter within the cell. So there's many ways that you could solve this, but uh, here's the formula that I came up with. So what I'm going to do, th this formula, by the way, is what's in this cell. So the whole thing determines the second uppercase letter, the W here, the C, the S, the C. Um, so now what I'll do is break this long formula down into only three steps and then we can basically take the number and we'll use it in the final small easy part here to get the first name and the last name. So step one is to understand what the char function and the row function are doing. Those two functions feed into the find function here. So uh, let's actually go to another sheet and we want to look at all the, the we're basically looking for uppercase letters within that cell over here the first one, B13. So we want to find um, the first occurrence of any of these uppercase letters. So the code function actually will turn these into a number. And that's, so the 65 will always be the uppercase A all the way to the end of the alphabet. So if I type in a ampersand, you'll see that's a different number. Or if I type in the lowercase A, that's a different number again. So obviously we want the uppercase A. So from 65 all the way to 90. So let's go back into our formula, and if I highlight that part, which is find text, we're looking for all of these. So I press the F9 key, you see how it gives us the uppercase letters, it goes off to the edge of the screen, within that cell over here. Step two now is we need to look at this, step one feeds into step two. So the find function is saying find all those uppercase letters within text, which is our B13, and we're using the optional parameter start number, number two, because we already know that the first character is the uppercase letter, the first letter of the first name. So, when we evaluate this, uh, this find function, we're basically getting errors every time it can't find one of the uppercase letters, or a number when it can find an uppercase letter. So step three now, Think of it as basically a cleanup step. We want to turn all those errors into blanks. And so let's go in here and highlight this. Actually, we want to highlight the if error. So it's that portion. Press the F9 key, and it's a whole bunch of blanks now. All the errors have been turned into blanks. And we have a 7, where that indicates where we found starting E is 1, O is 2, etc. The W is the 7. And finally, the min function allows us to extract the first number that we have, or sometimes it's the only number, and that is our 7. So we see that in the cell here. And last but not least, now we have to pull out the first name of George. We look at that cell, and we say, okay, that's our text, and we want to pull out 7, which is right in here in the cell, minus 1, which is a 6, and that gives us George and all the way down. And for the last name, once again, we look at uh, the text, which is B13. We want to start at number 7, and the number of characters that we want is basically the length of the whole thing minus the 7, and then just a plus 1, and that gives you the last name. And one thing I forgot to mention is, of course, over here, this the big formula, that's an array formula. You can't simply press the Enter key. Uh, it won't understand because here we're using the find function, but we're not looking for a single value. We're looking for, when we press F9, a range of values. So we have to do a special keystroke, which is hold down the Control key, hold down the Shift key, and press the Enter key. We get those special brackets, and then Excel can interpret the result. And if you'd like to uh, get the, this file that I used, you can go to my Microsoft SkyDrive or OneDrive right here and pick up the file. And then let me know what you thought about this video.